Hi, it's Darren at Moon Hair Studios again um, for another quick uh, tutorial on living with the Qcon Pro X. Uh, a bit beardy, been bank holiday, so didn't bother to shave. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, this one's going to be particularly useful to those of you that you know like to navigate around your mixer um, using the set buttons on on the controller. And there's been one thing that's been absolutely infuriating me ever since I got it, and I've now found out the solution. So. Here we go. Okay, so here's the problem we've got. Um, I've got a piece of music here and uh, I want to basically move around through the mixer. So if I bring my mixer up and you've got this option just to move with these plus and forward buttons eight tracks at a time. So that moves you sort of up and down through, through your groups. Um, but what if you want to have a look at just your drums and you you go forward and you find that actually your drum kit's split in half and you just want to move backwards and forwards by one track well you've got these single track buttons here to do exactly that but they just don't work um, they're bringing up pages for other um, settings like here's my page for panning but they're not moving the actual track along and that really makes it very difficult especially if you wanted to solo out your drum kit you, you've got half of the tracks there then you've got to move across and then you've got to do the other half um, so it's not it's not easy so what's the solution well up here in studio settings and I'll tell you this is this is not particularly obvious um, you've got a, a more option setting and you've got your Mackie controller now this is really counterintuitive because it's set to Cubase um, and what you need to do is select compatibility mode oh, I have no idea why um, but now you'll find that as you use your buttons you can move up and down one at a time or you can use your eight at a time and you can just get it to exactly where you want it and now I've got all of my drums sitting there and I can do whatever I want with them so there you go very straightforward um, goodness knows why <laughs> it doesn't work with the Cubase one but there you go now you know as well as me Right, welcome back to part two, the clean shaven section. Um, just something for people that have maybe just got their Qcon Pro X and have plugged it in and thought something's going wrong with the second LCD strip. So you've got two LCD strips and the one just above the fader bank, it reads channels one to eight. Um, it's got the master channel labeled there and it tells you it's an icon Qcon Pro X. I think we probably already knew that but it doesn't seem to change when you move up through your mixer bank. So is there something wrong with your unit? Well, no, there isn't. It's designed like that. And the reason is that when you put your expansion boards on, when you've got a bit of spare cash and you've got, you know, up to 32 channels, it will read, you know, one to 32 along those channel banks. So it will actually automatically put those channels that are just the channels on your icon, not in your door. I think that's probably a bit of a wasted opportunity. That LCD strip could have been used to give more useful information, I'm sure. So it's not a fault with your unit if you think uh, something's gone wrong. It's just the way it's been produced. And I can't maybe, you know, next time think about that. So that's it for today. Uh, hopefully I've solved one problem for you and I've explained another one which I can do nothing about and please come back for the next one.